Hey YouTube family, welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't been posting the videos for quite a long, long time now because I was on a trip to Frankfurt uh, with my girlfriend so I wanted my own time. I was working a lot. So again, we are here back with uh, the series of videos and this time I'm bringing to you a platform, a country where you can uh, follow medicine or, or its branches. Uh, I have shortlisted seven uh, universities that are, are providing English programs for the EU citizens as well as the third country students as well and uh, while uh, shortlisting these universities I had kept in mind the various norms that are needed especially for Indian students to uh, appear for next exam and uh, these universities are uh, NMC approved, WHO approved and uh, after studying from there you're also eligible to give uh, appear for USMLE, PLAB or UKMLE or uh, whatever we must say so it's not a big deal we're gonna discuss about universities that are among the top uh, ranked universities in the world because Poland is a platform is a country which is quite leading uh, in the field of medicine and the doctors from there like getting a huge uh, opportunity in various other countries as well so especially in USA and Germany so let's get straight into the video. Uh, we will discuss it briefly about the various eligibility criteria, education system, what are the uh, degrees and uh, what are the accreditations. Let's start the video. Yep. I said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while. You could miss it. So Poland uh, has a very long and rich history of medicine. But some of the very renowned and uh, prestigious doctors came from these institutions in Poland and they're following their profession and they're symbolizing the world uh, how a great deal of uh, education is present in Poland. So let's first start about the program in Poland. So it's a six year program divided into two phases. The first phase is the basic theoretical phase where you're studying the strong foundation subjects. And the other phase is the clinical phase. Apart from studies, you're gonna have uh, clinical rotations and students will be uh, running <laughs> here and there to practice their uh, medical theories and apply it on patients and learn from the patients and uh, learn from the doctors uh, as well. Scoring system uh, in Poland is again the ECATS system I've covered many times. It's the European Credit Transfer System. So it's basically the European uh, continent. These various countries follow a same pattern this, that is ECTS, where they are scoring the students as per their knowledge, how much they're learning. They're having regular tests, and with that, they correlate yeah, this student has this and this, this. Uh, so the total is 360 credit scores for medicine, especially uh, MBBS and uh, it's like 60 credit scores per semester. So you need to complete all these credits. Uh, so only after that you can uh, be enrolled in the next semester. So let's talk about the eligibility criteria for a particular student who is applying uh, in this university. So first of all, his secondary education should have a strong academic record it's not like i see people are like uh, seeing from the website the eligibility criteria is 50 percent 55 percent 60 percent in some universities it depends but the thing is you need to understand the seats and these universities are quite limited and there's gonna be many students who are gonna apply in these universities and there can be chances where the students with higher score will be in a priority list than you because anyhow they need to select a student and uh, to select a student obviously they will uh, go towards the merit uh, then you understand so be careful with that and if someone is trying to say I would get you a uh, guaranteed seat, seat in that particular university even with a low percentage then maybe he's trying to fool you, maybe he's trying to scam you so you need to be prepared with that as well. Apart from that you need to provide a language proficiency, it can be IELTS or TOEFL. Uh, uh, there are many criteria for different universities as well, we can discuss it in the later videos because every university has some differences in the uh, terms of some criteria. So I can't cover every university at a single video, I need to make individual video accordingly. And for Indian students, uh, you should be qualified with NEET, then only you can apply for these universities. So the first university we're going to talk about is Jagiellonian University situated in Krakow, Poland. Uh, it is one of the oldest universities in Poland. Uh, it was established in the year 1364. It is well known for the, especially the medical curriculum and uh, it has quite tedious curriculum as well. So it's like you need to understand if you're studying in a good university and you need to study and you need to show yourself that you are capable of uh, being part of such kind of institution. Uh, apart from that, the faculties are for medicine, for uh, law, for dentistry uh, and various courses as well. I will put it on the screen. 
and uh, apart from that they have various clinical research platforms available and they are linked with various institutes across the globe and the students coming uh, in this universities are, are <clears throat> from various developed countries including germany america uk and uh, they also welcome the third country students but the seats are quite limited and uh, it all depends on your merit scores and uh, we can uh, understand uh, if you are good enough with the merit score you can surely get the admission in this institution second university it's the Wroclaw medical university it's also a public university with over five faculties for medical dentistry pharmacy public health etc etc with over 227 ug programs and a, a ninth uh, like a, I think 100, more than 100 doctoral programs are there. It was established in the year 1945 with more than 3,500 students uh, studying in these UG and PG courses. It has two separate hospitals for clinical rotations and practice. So you can understand it's quite prestigious. In this video, I'm not uh, discussing quite briefly about these particular university because I need uh, a separate video to give a detailed explanation right now. I'm just giving you a short synapse what kind of curriculum are present in Poland for English and uh, for especially for third country students so you can just note it down and if you need more details you can just let me know i can make a separate video for a particular university the third university we're going to talk about is the medical university of Warsaw. it's like over 200 years old and that's per qs ranking it always lies between 400 to 450 it's quite prestigious and uh, it always meets the highest international uh, standards of medical education and apart from that it has various scientific research cooperation with various countries it can be germany uh, france and sweden etc etc so you understand if these universities are showing cooperations with universities that are quite more developed and this uh, association from there are taking pains to come here and uh, establish the platform it means this university means something these are the clues you need to understand before choosing an university fourth university uh, we're going to talk about is the medical university of Gdansk, established in the year 1944 with over 6030 uh, students studying in this university and uh, it has international students from country like sweden norway switzerland canada uk and apart from that the third country students as well and it has modern clinics hospitals that are following these uh, and providing you the basic amenities that are needed to follow your practice uh, in the clinical rotations as well they have several uh, orientations in program and i forgot to tell you guys uh, every university that i'm talking about is uh, inculcated with the erasmus program i have covered many times about the erasmus program so you can understand the importance of it and uh, how prestigious it is to be a erasmus plus student so the next university is the Medical University of Lost, uh, Lords. It's also a public university and it was established in the year 1949 with students uh, from over 62 different countries and they're inculcating the advanced technology for medicine. They're providing various tools and uh, techniques uh, so the student can have uh, insight knowledge of this modern medical uh, era because we need to move on as per the years are going. We need advanced technology to cure the diseases because you know, the more advancement in the medicine, uh, the more probability is there to save a patient. And apart from that, it has uh, more than 780 international students studying in there with their own three clinical hospitals available. So they have quite good clinical rotations. So let's move to the next college. The next university we're going to talk about is the Pomeranian Medical University and uh, it was established in the year 1948 with the Faculty of Medicine and Dentistry with over 600 uh, students for English program. Uh, it has various, again, uh, close approaches, various European countries with, with co cooperation, whether you say clinical rotations or everything. One important thing to note here, it's I, uh, the internship over here is for 13 months. The last university for this video, the seventh university, it's the Medical University of Silesia another public university established in the year 1948 as well with over 70 programs 20 uh, 240 specialization programs five clinical hospitals in this university and uh, we also have uh, international students from seven different continents and it has international cooperation with 80 uh, foreign universities as well so you can understand the importance of it i have covered seven universities over here the short signups you can uh, if you want to know the information briefly, you can just ping me, you know, where to connect with me. I have my own website. You can contact me on WhatsApp. You can connect with me on Instagram. It's not a big deal. And another thing I want to tell you guys, uh, I have noticed a pattern of students. They're getting influenced by agents and uh, they are more inculcated and like 
agents are giving them like okay i will give you a program in 15 lakhs in 20 lakhs you will study the whole mbbs course in 15 lakhs and 20 lakhs and uh, they keep troubling the students and the students think oh it's easy to get mbbs in just in these rupees but you need to understand what kind of curriculum you're going to be a part in if you study in those universities which has not that strong curriculum not that strong hold in the medicine and you get the degree and you're not able to clear the next exam or any kind of uh, further exams there is no use of that degree you're gonna have nothing after that i can give you hundreds of message with the students who got part in those kind of curriculum they uh, completed their studies and now they're stuck in between and they're trying uh, 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 like they're asking help from me but to be honest i can't do anything if you can't clear the license exam uh, you can't have the license and anyhow right now as per the new guidelines you need to have two licenses to even apply for masters in europe if you're an indian student uh, and if you studied abroad you need to have a degree from the university where you studied plus the working license from your own country then only you can apply for master so you need to understand saving some dollars and then uh, ruining your curriculum is not a good option because you anyhow it's just six years of hard work you should analyze before choosing an university and one more thing you need to understand a good university a good university will never come to you and if someone is trying to call you and telling you about university or university is calling you you should understand they're just trying to sell the degree uh, and if you want a good curriculum you need to show yourself to that university that you're capable of to be a part of that university so that's a tip from me and if you're smart enough you will understand and if you if you can't understand these basic things then i don't think so you are capable of to be a doctor because if you don't can't choose your own curriculum can't choose what is good for you which will be better for your future then i don't know because i whatever i say i say say transparently there are going to be many people who are going to study medicine but there are not going to be many people who are going to be a doctor out of it so think about it and if you like my content you know what to do you need to just promote me like share and subscribe that's the routine you need to follow and do click on that bell icon so you can have insight knowledge whenever i post so peace